Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Nothing OS version 1.1.8. This is the version that has been out recently. If you haven't received it still, just wait a couple of days and you should be getting that soon as well. I just got it today. A couple of the users did get it before. It's just because of how Nothing is delivering these software updates. It's very different to when a software version is released either on the Samsung or the iPhone. Every user of the Samsung model or the iPhone model gets it at the same time, but that is not the case with nothing they do release it separately based on the regions so if you haven't received it just wait you should be getting soon in a couple of days but let's talk about what this 1.1.8 change brings so there are three things mentioned in the change log one is the addition of the nothing x app which is a ui that basically gives you control over your nothing earbuds or your nothing stick i don't have those products so i'm not going to go into detail of that app but Previously, it was all underneath the hood, but now you have an app to actually use and interact with your earbuds or the ear stick. The second is that Nothing Team has fixed stutters that were experienced in the Nothing Phone 1 on different occasions. That has been fixed. I personally, with my unit of the Nothing Phone 1, I hadn't experienced that, so I cannot confirm if that was the case. But if you had in your 1.1.7, then this 1.1.8 should fix that. The third one is general bug fixes. Now, nothing has not clarified what those bug fixes were. They haven't gone into that detail, but there are bug fixes with this update. We're just not sure what they are. If you have received the update for the 1.1.8, I do recommend you install it because this is a stable version. It's not a beta. When we're talking about the beta, the Nothing OS 1.5, which is powered by Android 13, there is still no ETA on when that is supposed to be available for normal users like us. I did try signing up for the beta myself through the official nothing source, but the beta I think has been closed due to which I was unable to sign up. If you are trying to find links online to be able to get the Nothing OS 1.5 to be able to use the beta, I would recommend don't do that unless it's from the official source because you do have to be careful with the beta software even when it's from the official source. But if it's not from an official source, then you have to be extra careful, ensure that you have everything backed up so that if something happens to your device, you can still restore it with all the contents in there. And at least you will not have any problems because beta, anything can happen. So do wait if you want the stable version of the Nothing OS 1.5. We should be getting that in the next couple of months, maybe. But I'll leave it there for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace.